Hello everyone, today I want to discuss Starfield space exploration. From what we have seen already, we will be able to fly around space and head to planets within that system. We will be able to land anywhere on the planet and scavenge for materials and do quests. But what can we do in space? I believe we can create space stations from resources of a planet. As in the trailers, we see multiple space stations. Perhaps we must scavenge materials in order to boost ourselves into the next star system. And that's where we create space bases. The purpose of these bases will be home away from home. A place where you can put your hard-earned loot and resources in order to travel further. As you know, our ships have a certain amount of carry weight, so when it comes to resources and loot, I picture that we need a hub to deposit our resources and to be able to spread our resources across the solar system. Just like what you can do in Fallout 4 with the caravan system. From this, spawning dynamic interactions will happen, such as pirates attacking or space creatures or quest opportunities triggered in order to make it more interesting. In Starfield, the thought of spacewalking really intrigues me. Imagine coming across a derelict ship. It's huge. You park your ship a good distance away, just so you can make a quick exit. You find amazing tech, but hear strange noises. The ship is full of rampaging creatures. You barely escape with your life and loot. But you then discover there's a creature on top of your ship that's trying to get in and you've got to kill it before it wastes your crew. You exit out of your vehicle, jetpacking onto the back, and you have an amazing shootout. Other times you come across ships that look like ancient alien artifacts, improving the understanding of this tech and improving the player's equipment. And maybe you come across unique characters in distress, could improve your settlements or space stations drastically if you rescue them. Imagine coming across an asteroid belt. You send off a ping from your scanner and you see a rare earth element and metals of the taking. You park up your ship and jump out with a mining tool or if you want you can skip this task completely and just have a mining tool on your ship there can be ups and downs to each method jumping out and doing it by hand will attract less attention but will take a little bit longer whilst lugging a mining attachment makes you a bigger target but you manage to get a lot of resources quickly but this does leave you open to raiders and enemies, which could lead to the best interactions ever. Imagine if you have an experienced co-pilot with you on your ship that could easily deal with this threat so you get to watch an amazing space battle between two AIs fighting and your pilot often not win the battle. But if you don't, there's radio chatter from your crew saying they're detecting enemy ships inbound. Can you come back and help us, Captain? That kind of really cool engagement. So there's a big rush to get back to your ship before it gets immobilized. These dynamic moments of video games make them worth playing. And Starfield needs this interesting space game loop to keep us entertained. Having these little or big random events will really spice up space travel. After all, you don't want space to be empty in a video game or people will get bored. That's the last thing you want players to feel whilst playing your game. Another thing I hope that whilst flying around in space, you get unique dialogue from your crew or companions. You get little prompts to jump into uh, with an opinion or something. Your crew will need to feel alive. I hope you can come away from the steering and talk to your crew whilst in space. Not to the extent of Mass Effect, but just to get updates regarding outposts and other things you've done. Also, there must be an option for some sort of galaxy radio that could feed you quests and points of interest. These points of interest can be rescue beacons, remnants of ship battles, with each ship being accessible, ancient tech, space stations, large fleets of ships, pirate locations, cache locations, lost shipments, bounties, spacefaring creatures, space phenomenon, resources, cosmic events like supernovas or wormholes that take you to a new place. And then we can also have those wild wasteland kind of interactions like a brief alien interaction, alien abduction, missing time. The potential for compelling interactions with this game is limitless. I hope Starfield has these interactions and more. When it comes to your ship, I hope you can prove your ship at the closest space station instead of having it to take it down to the planet all the time. Whilst exploring, you can come across space debris, uh, which you can scan and get the schematics for a ship, or purchasing them from a space station or a planet hub that specializes in ship's parts. We have seen that there is so much customization when it comes to your vessel. Clearly, there'll be advantages and disadvantages 
terms of how you design it, I can imagine that there will be tiers of parts. Some parts will be lower quality than other parts, driving you to explore and find the best equipment for your ship. These upgrades need to feel leaps and bounds from the other ones instead of being small increments, which would really be tedious. One of the final things I want with base exploration game is to have your own fleet. The fleet can be a part of the Constellations faction. A big ship, other ships can be flying along as well as land on, exploring the cosmos. To me, it wouldn't make sense if this wasn't here, as the faction is all about exploring. So having a ship that's already a sail adrift along space would be a great thing to have, as you are more likely to be exploring and discovering whilst in space and doing the things an explorer would be doing. From here, it's like a little hub so you can talk to people within that faction and gain more quests, more interactions and points of interest. As it's a large vessel, you'll be able to land on it, explore the ship, finding mini arcade games like they have in Fallout 4 and doing rec recreational stuff like, like the little arcade games from Fallout 4 like or, or throwing a like basketball or ping pong or something like that. Just something, you know, quaint and fun that has a little sort of stat bonus like a playful stat you gain xp more or something like that hopefully these things i've discussed will make it into the game or at least be added through dlcs or mods a space game of this magnitude sounds limitless we are all very excited to dive into starfield and i hope this video helps for that little starfield fix let's have a discussion in the comments let me know what you hope to be in starfield and what space exploration will be like please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed